What's going on guys? So I got a special package that just came in. Very eager, very excited to try both of these. I have not looked at the notes. The bottles look gorgeous. I've seen posts on IG, but I never read the posts because like I said, I want to be blind because I knew I was going to get these fragrances. I have the two newest fragrances from Kajal Perfumes in this box. We're going to bust them open, smell them, see if they're as good as I'm anticipating or if they're just kind of mm, middle of the road. We'll see. Let's discuss them and stay tuned. By the way, these were sent to me as a gift by Kajal Perfumes. Do appreciate Kajal Perfumes for that. I definitely love what the house has to offer. And man, whew, here we go. Almaz. Right here, this is the ladies' release. Ferris, the men's release. So I'll get the cellophane off them real quick and we'll take a look. So first we'll take a look at Almaz. I'm actually pretty interested in this. Love this shade of green metallic. I don't recall. I want to say I read what these symbols mean. I don't recall. When we pull the notes up in a little bit, we'll take a look and, and see if it tells the story. But uh, yeah, 100 ml Eau de Parfum. So, I can't wait to see this cap in person. Wow. They've changed things. So, this is new. There is a complimentary spray of Lamar. Wow. So, we're going to give this away. And if the other box has something like this, we'll give that away as a set. But, apparently, we're doing a giveaway. Because this is my favorite from the house is Lamar. So, Somebody needs to experience this. Somebody's going to win this. So stay tuned to the end. We're going to give that away. But just looking in here, look at that. They has, have stepped things up a bit, to say the least. Let me get this out the way. Man, look at this bottle. Now, it's going to be a fingerprint magnet. But it's got the same design that's on the side of the box. It's actually green through it. Like, the presentation here is top tier. Look at the bling. Look at this. These emeralds. Wow. This is beautiful. It's stunning. I mean, presentation isn't the end-all be-all, but it's nice when they really put some thought and effort into it. Now, again, I have no clue what the notes are. Caps are so heavy. These are weapons. This is like a damn ninja throwing star. Um, so we're just going to spray, see what it's like, and... We'll go from there. Ah, the wonderfulness of being at altitude. See all that? My hands soaked. <sighs> Gets old. Really does get old. Let me just rub this all over my arm, I guess. So now this hand's already going to smell like it, so I'm going to have to go with forearm for the other one. I hate that. That's When you get at altitude, for some reason, these bottles, they build up pressure inside. So when you spray them, they leak every damn where. Whoa. Okay, so this is very, I mean, extremely fruity and sweet. It doesn't distinctively smell feminine to me. It's all over my head. It smells delicious, actually. Almost like a fruity candy, almost. If you don't like sweet fragrances, you won't like this. But it's got this very specific juicy fruit sweetness. I'm thinking red fruits, I'm thinking pineapple, I'm thinking all of these juicy type of fruits more so than just citrus fruits. When I mean citrus fruits, I mean bergamot, lemon, orange, stuff like that. There could be some orange in here, but it's got more of the pink and purple type of fruit going on here. Pink, red, purple, that type of juiciness. That the pomegranate, um, passion fruit, those types of fruits that I'm not sure which one it is, but it's 
That's the types of fruits I'm thinking when I smell this. It's powdery, but not super powdery. And but it's it smells like some fresh rose, but not too much. It even has a little bit of like a slightly earthy iris type of smell. Because I knew they used super high quality oil. So if there is iris or oris in here, it's Florentine. And that has a little bit more of an kind of earthy, bald carrot type of smell to it. Versus like your designer irises that have that lipsticky, waxy type of thing going on. This isn't that. Oh yeah, it's coming out more and more. This smells like rose, potentially iris and jasmine. Something like that going on. Like that... Because they use, they've use they used that combination a few times in their line. Like Kajal Eau de Parfum, the purple juice. My favorite one that's marketed for women. That's a Turkish rose and orris base fragrance with a bunch of fresh citrus up top. This kind of smells like the core of that fragrance. With some more dense sweet fruits instead of bright fresh citrus. This is freaking great. This is great. I can see my wife really enjoying this one, too. I just got to clean this bottle. It's saturated, unfortunately. It's all over my desk now, too. So I'm sure the other one's going to be the same way. This is super thick. This has a very thick smell to it. Very sweet, fruity. Sweet, fruity, floral, and I'm going with a rose, a fresher rose, potentially like a Turkish rose. Iris, or Oris, they use Oris usually, so Oris, and probably some Jasmine, because it's leaning a little brighter, it's bright fresh floral, because the density and the sweetness is the fruitiness, I'm very curious, let's pull, God, my hands are covered, let's pull up uh, Kajal Perfumes website, okay, so let's go ahead and split the screen here, for you guys to check it out, Almaz. Let's see. A beauty so enchanting, it has enraptured people for centuries. A clarity so pure, one glimpse is enough to mesmerize. A love so powerful, its eternal radiance will forever shine. Treasured throughout history, precious gemstones have been sought after on many a quest. By far the most desired and cherished is the Almaz, a gem of legendary sparkling brilliance, which symbolizes everlasting love, strength, and good health. Almaz, the Arabic name for diamonds, are renowned not only for their sublime beauty, but also for their time for their timelessness as they withstand millions of years of immense pressure to form. Interesting. Okay. Okay, before we get to this note breakdown, let's I'm I'm sticking with fruity with some florals here. Let's see if we can find here we go. Almaz details. Top notes. Almaz opens up with Bagooling. I want a bejeweling fruity combination of bergamot, black currant, a delightful mixture of fresh sweetness with a spicy edge. I would not have guessed black currant and bergamot being the fruitiness here. Um, the combination, it makes me think like pomegranate passion fruit type of smell, which I guess combined could kind of make this. But it's got it's more a sweet fruit than tart, because black currant's typically a tart fruit. Heart notes consist of an elegant blend of raspberry. There we go. Now it makes sense. Raspberry. Yeah. That's okay. That's more along the lines of what I was thinking. Flower notes and heliotrope resulting in a warm and alluring floral embrace. I would not have guessed heliotrope, but flower notes has to encompass a combination of some of the things I was saying. Rose, iris, oris, jasmine, things like that. Base notes. As we reach the base notes, we find a delicious fusion of musk, wood notes, vanilla, amber, and brown sugar. A mellow yet sensual composition consisting of a rich and pure earthy so softness. I don't really get real earthy. So we're going to go back to just me on the screen. But damn, this is... It's not a serious fragrance. It's playful because it's very fruity and sweet. Like I said, if you don't like sweet, you'll hate this. It's very sweet. Candied sweet almost. I mean, it's got fruitiness. It's got brown sugar. It's fruity and sweet. It's floral. It's playful. But if you're into floral fragrances or sweet fragrances, I can see this being more unisex than just for the ladies. I know this is marketed for the ladies, and I just noticed 
if I can get it to show. I have a serious, if I can get it to just focus on my hand, that would be great. See that sheen? Just massive sheen on my hand. And then even on my fingers here, which I don't know if it'll focus, but I'm covered in this stuff. It's radiant. It's brilliant. It has a brilliance to the smell. It's really freaking good. I just wish it wouldn't have leaked everywhere, but I got to say Ferris or Faris, however you say it, I'm going to say Ferris has some tough shoes to fill and it'd be nice if it's a, a really good contrast of this one being really marketed for men and being much more masculine. You know what I mean? Again, I have no idea what the hell the notes are, but let's jump into Ferris. The box design is very nice. Almost has kind of a webbing look to it. Very interesting. Okay, so this one doesn't have a sample with it. Another fingerprint magnet bottle. Looks cool though, but this is same as their own line. This is electroplated. This looks like an electroplating. Cap looks really freaking cool. It's got a black enamel paint on the inside. The caps look badass on both of these. You have that same design in the bottle pretty freaking nice so we're gonna have to go because i'm covered in almaz we're gonna have to go up here on the forearm to kind of get away from almaz which this is probably going to go all over the place too gotta love the altitude so give myself two good sprays it hasn't leaked yet so fingers crossed it doesn't just start coming out but oh very aromatic Aromatic and green, minty. Okay, yeah, this is... Ooh, very fresh, minty, bright. Not what I was expecting. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting, but it's uplifting. It's bright. It's a nice contrast to this dense sweet sweetness. It's very airy, fresh, green, a little spicy, like an oak moss type of green spice here, jumping out right away, but still very fresh. This one excites me. This one, Almaz, is nice. It's really freaking nice if you like sweet fragrances, but Ferris is definitely one I w I'm probably going to wear this immediately. Like, I had another fragrance in mind to wear tomorrow. No, nah, this is great. Damn, this is good. This is classic masculine with a twist. It doesn't remind me of a bunch of things. When I say classic masculine, it's got this aromatic, fougerish appeal the green spice, lavender, almost like, almost like elements of polo green on a niche level. Doesn't smell exactly like polo green, so please don't think that, but I'm reminded of these bright piney green, fresh type of aromatics, but just such a high quality. Definitely got some really good spices going on here with still a lot of freshness. It's very, very fresh spicy. Very fresh spicy. Oh, I can't wait to see this note breakdown. Let's let's get this pulled up. Let me switch screens. Let's go collections. Here we go. Ferris. Ferris perfectly encapsulates the fundamental chivalrous characteristics of a valiant and noble knight. A masculine name of Arabic origins, Ferris means knight. Someone who carries himself with impeccable etiquette, yet manifests courage, honor, and loyalty. Meticulously created by renowned perfumers Urs Castelletti and David Sheets. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm butchering your names. <laughs> Not the easiest names to pronounce for me personally. Ferris is a splendid curated fragrance that has been exclusively produced for Kajal. We wanted Ferris to embody the definition of strength, respect, and courage. For that, we went with the silver metallized effect on the bottle, box, and cap. The co-founder and chief creative officer of Kajal, Mo, shout out to Mo, describes silver symbolizes subtle strength and represents purity. Spiritually, silver is considered to be a mirror to the soul, helping us to realize ourselves as others see us. It's ten dollars cheaper. Almaz is two twenty. Ferris is two ten USD. So let's see. All right. Top notes: sparkling citruses perform the majestic entrance. Entrance: fizzy bergamot, refreshing lemon, elegant orange paired with 
a sour fruity touch from the juniper berry and livened up with freshly cut lavender and crispy apple. So it smells like plenty of lavender. That's why I got excited. It's a strong, high quality aromatic. I, that's a key to my heart with masculine fragrances. A high quality aromatic gets me every time. And, and this is definitely that. In the heart, an herbal note of coriander spiced up with clove and warm nutmeg will enchant all the senses. Delicate rose and sensual jasmine present a beautiful floral bouquet. I don't really get a lot of florals here. Maybe a little touch, and now that it's settling in, clove makes sense. But I'm still convinced there might be some oak moss here. Or maybe a patchouli or something like that with this nutmeg spice. Coriander. I wouldn't have guessed that. The base, the powerful base containing earthy patchouli, there you go, dry vetiver and creamy sandalwood starts the perfect finale. Delicious tonka bean and warm amber close this fragrance. So I would have been, that opening blast had so much bright spice, so much fresh spice to it, which clearly had to be coriander doing that to me. I would have guessed oak moss. It has a little bit of a mossy smell to it bright aromatic it's not heavy on the citrus for all that variety of citrus that's in the listing of the note breakdown it's not a ton of it it's not overly sit it provides this kind of i guess it said fizzy fizzy is a good word fizzy effervescence brightness to the top to mix with this lavender the lavender is gorgeous here that's the main takeaway from this fragrance for me is the lavender is mwah, magnifique this is, it doesn't smell too serious to where you can't wear it casually, but this definitely smells like something that would be a great work fragrance in an office environment. This is a great Oxford and above type of fragrance. There's a little bit of seriousness here. It's got a classy appeal to it. This isn't just a t-shirt fragrance. Yeah, I think you can pull it off with a t-shirt. There's going to be instances where I wear it with a t-shirt, but this definitely smells a little bit more serious to me. Now that it's settling in, it's getting a lot drier and spicier. There's amber, there's sandalwood, there's vet, what's labeled as dry vetiver. So there's this amount of woods with this earthy patchouli. This I could see how it's making a warmer base for this fragrance. Like the note breakdown and the base makes sense to me. But I'm still getting plenty of that fresh spice to it. The bright citrus kind of almost immediately fades. There's a little bit of this kind of... There's a crispness to it that could be the apple. That's kind of settled in, but I don't get any other citruses. Like the crispy apple smell, that bite of a green apple. I get a little bit of that. A little bit. With a ton of lavender still. Yeah, this is the better fragrance for sure. This is the one that needs to be sampled if you like that style of fragrance. Um, Almaz is great. Don't get me wrong. But if you don't like sweet, you'll hate Almaz. But if you're looking for a great, mas super high quality masculine aromatic, this is the one right here. This is damn good. This is a little bit more serious than Kajal Om 1 and 2. But pretty much as versatile, I think. I think both Kajal Ohms, Kajal Ohm and Kajal Ohm 2 and Ferris, are extremely versatile masculine fragrances. This being the most masculine of the three, to be honest with you. This is really good. If I had to put numbers on them, I'm going for Almaz, which I need to clean. I'm going with like a 7.5 out of 10. It's very good. I do really like it. But this is like an 8.5 out of 10. This stuff's really, really good. This stuff's great. 8.5. Yeah. Yeah, this... This might jump Kajal Ohm as my number two. Because Lamar is my favorite. Which we have a sample here. Lamar is still my favorite. But this, I think this jumps Kajal Ohm as my number two from the house. Sample worthy, guys. Absolutely sample worthy. There's always a link down in my link tree with 10% off. Get some samples. And try these fragrances. Now, on to the giveaway. So, I had no idea this was going to be in there. I have a bottle of this. Obviously, there's no reason for me to keep this. I'd love to pass this along to one of you watching this video. So, 
As per usual, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to TLTG Reviews, and then in the comments below, put TLTG Kajal Lamar. TLTG, and the name of the fragrance. Easy enough, right? Continental United States only. I'll leave this open for about a week. After about seven or eight days, I'll close the giveaway. I will respond to the winning comment, asking them to email me to verify identity and set up shipping, and I will pin the winner's comment. That's the way we close the giveaways. That's the way we do giveaways around here. So again, like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, comment below TLTG Kajal Lamar down in the comments, Continental US only. I'll leave it open for about a week and uh, I'll ship this out to somebody and they'll get to experience what is my favorite from the House of Kajal Perfumes, the sample of Kajal Lamar. Yeah, it's really good stuff. So far, yeah, I gotta, I gotta immediately wear Ferris tomorrow, but good luck in the giveaway, guys. Uh, somebody's gonna get this, and I hope you enjoy it even half as much as I enjoy Lamar. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Good luck, everyone. Have a good one.